Hey! We will see here how to measure a volume of liquid in the laboratory. A graduated cylinder is used for this. When pouring a liquid into the graduated cylinder, it suffices to read the graduation which corresponds to the top of the column of liquid. All in all, it is quite simple. The reading here must be done with the eye at the height of the top of this column and at the bottom of the meniscus. This concavity is called a meniscus here, which is observed when the liquid is in a container of narrow section. If the eye is placed too high, we are making a mistake. If the eye is set too low, we can also make a mistake. We are going to train to read and also to overcome the traps of a graduated scale. And I will take this opportunity to give you some tips and tricks. Here, for example, for the green liquid, we see that the graduation goes from 80 to 100. There are therefore 20 milliliters between two large graduations, which means that each graduation, since there are only 10 intervals, is worth 2 milliliters. Between 60 and 80 there is 70, 72, 74. Have you the answer? Seventy-six. I submit for checking. One hundred and fifty here, but I go from one hundred and fifty to two hundred. Here again, I must be vigilant. There are only ten intervals. This means that each interval corresponds to five milliliters. Fifty over ten equals five, so, here, that's one hundred and fifty and two times five equals ten. Okay, one hundred and sixty milliliters. For the yellow liquid, it is quite natural. I would say at 6.2. I would like to point out that the pipette, since this is the name of this object here, is very advanced, in a plane which is very advanced compared to the plane of the graduated cylinder. These two instruments are not represented on the same scale. For the mauve liquid, here there is a trap, it is because the zero is at the top, this means that this pipette is intended to measure the liquid already poured and not the remaining liquid, let's be vigilant here. So we have already poured 7 and 1, 2, 3, 4 milliliters. Measure the volume of a solid. We will use a graduated cylinder for this as well. It seems paradoxical. You will understand. This object has a shape whose volume is difficult to find. If you put it in the graduated cylinder, you already understood, the water will rise. Here there are 80 milliliters of water so far. If I immerse my object here, the water rises to 92. So, 92 minus 80. This object has a volume of 12 cubic centimeters. I express it in cubic centimeters because it is a solid. That's it for this video. Thank you.